just met someone. She looked at me and smiled. What I see in her is obvious. What she sees in me, it's a little more puzzling. How did the show go? I killed them. A new gig. I saved them. Mm -hmm. You are now kindly requested to keep silent. Please take a deep, last breath right now. The truth is, I'm sick. Being in love makes me sick. Ready? May we start? May we start? Jonah has lived at the Sunnyside Orphanage all her life. Hey, be careful. One day, something unexpected changed Jonah's life forever. Always remember to wash your hands. Welcome home. Yes, I can talk. <laughs> Call me gorilla. You know what? Wow. Oh, beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep. Tord Fjordmark wants to buy the junkyard. Our home. He wants to build a giant aqua park. I'm not selling this place. What? She lets the kid drive? Me. What, what, what are you doing? Come on, you couldn't possibly believe I would allow Jonna to wallow in a junkyard with a wild beast. I want you to remember this place. Mommy. Join Jonna and Gorilla on their quest. The Ape Star. Don't let go. I'll never let you go, Jonna. that everyone has a story, that the world is one big web of stories. Lan Chen's story begins at a local school in a small town called Shang Tang. When you see a W, is this what you see? is something that's called dyslexia. The brains of some people are just wired differently. They just need a different system of teaching. My mom, she took me and we left home. We traveled over hills and mountains. And we get here. You must be land and you must be Mei Mei. Mei good English. Mama no English. Thomas failed to mention that. I set up an interview for Mei Mei at a new school. It's a school for kids like Mei Mei who are left behind by the system. Smart kids who learn differently. All I ask of you, Miss Chen, 
is that you give us your trust. All I want my daughter be normal. Why can't she be normal? Okay, come you said she can be normal. Your daughter will never be normal because none of the children here are normal. But they are capable of great things. I went to confess my sins. Chica, chica, chica. This is a bit of an excessive reaction. But as you can see, we're already having a pretty cramp ass day. Sweet Lord Jesus brought me to the city of angels for a purpose. Yeah. They do grow pretty in Texas. You can always work for me, you know. Working at the club, a.k.a. selling a bunch of drugs to L.A.'s horniest crackheads. I should have listened to you. All the money and all his drugs are gone, okay? Find a way to get me that 20 grand back. I know your plates. I know your friends. This is a scary drug dealer that I'm trying to make a good impression with. Now I need your help more than ever. Show me that life. You're a freaking badass. We're just supposed to tell people we came to Hollywood to start a con man. I haven't seen you before. Well, look at God just working his ways. <laughs> Do you know where to get waxed around here? We're gonna tear it all down. Always did have a flavor for danger. I hate this. So what do I know about you? When you're approaching Manhattan, you look at it and you think, you know, am I going to conquer it? You know, will I conquer New York? New York is a place that when 8 o'clock at night rolls around, the curtain is opening on some of the greatest performers around the world. It's the most palpable I've ever felt, that connection with an audience. You have to be present as an artist, and you have to be present as an audience member for the experience to really happen. Yeah, that's Broadway. Come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna give myself to you, and you're gonna come on, love me. It's a commercial landscape, and every day you have to pay your rent. It's a business, kid, and everybody's got to pull his own weight. The theater district in those days, I, I mean, it was so down on its luck. Help save the Marasco Theater. When the AIDS tragedy hit, the theater community was particularly hard hit by it. While Broadway was grieving, this invasion happened. Broadway began to be priced out of existence. There's just such a feeling of risk, giving people something they have never seen before. How come you ain't never liked me? Who in the hell ever said, I got to like you? American plays give us back ourselves and empower us to go forward. We need the voice of the marginalized. Right now is the time.
what's new, what's fresh, what is going to inspire the next kid who thinks, oh my God, I'm going to write a play. The past is like a dream. Suspect is armed and dangerous. Images and feelings that offer some truth about how we got here. Even if details are blurred with time. I had a dream last night about that trip we took with mom in the woods. <laughs> I miss her. I miss her family. My wife was supposed to start a new medication. The company that makes the drug pulled it off the market. Paying competitors to shell generic brands of drugs? That is immoral. Our next caller is from Pittsburgh. My wife dies. It's your death sentence. I can help you get justice for what happened to your wife. Who's that? Local family gets ravaged by Big Pharma's greed. <laughs> blow this thing wide open. There's nowhere to hide. We know who you are. People are gonna come after us, aren't they? I need to go. What are you planning to do? You have no idea what you're getting into. I just need to make sense of this. I know you're fighting for us. But this is my fight too. You knew going after powerful people was a dangerous business. As long as we're together, we're still a family. You're going on a journey. A journey through memory. All you have to do is follow my voice. We're closed. I know, I'm sorry it's late. We have time for one more job. When the waters began to rise and war broke out, nostalgia became a way of life. There wasn't a lot to look forward to. So people began looking back. Nothing is more addictive than the past. No, 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 put me back. Put me back. I understand. She has moved on, and you should too. People don't just vanish. To find where she'd gone, I had to know where she'd been. running from the past or racing back towards it how much did you really know her how much did you know who was she who was she but not with me you think you want answers well you don't know where is she where is she Life. I've turned the 
blind eye to plenty. I have to do this. That machine of yours, how close can you get before the illusion's broken? You're going on a journey. All you have to do is follow my voice. So why are you single, Pete? I find women intolerable. Right. My dad, he sort of hovers by the door while my mother takes a moment. God, how stifling. Oh, just lovely. No. I pretty much adore you. Taxi! Define letting herself go. You get married to a total babe. But you know, she's not perfect. She has a face shaped like a crescent moon. Like a Punch and Judy puppet. No, but she's loyal and spirited. Like a collie. You'll marry me in a year. Unlikely. We're in practice safe sex. No, we're not having sex. Oh, God. Let's just say that if, after a year, we're undecided about marriage, then we'll just part company. <sighs> Welcome to my life. How long are you staying for? Indefinitely. Not family friend. She's getting married. We should go and watch people being happy. Every wife, respect your husband! Take care of him, man. He's a delicate flower. Right, really. you're, you're making us sick. What is going on here? She used to be such a funny child. She used to write these little love letters and then often little death threats. A man wants to marry me, Dad. You're a gift. It will end badly. Uh... Marriage, babies. These days, we wait and wait for everything to align with the stars and it just doesn't happen. Mandy, how do you find the smothering? <laughs> Not as bad as the hateful honesty. <laughs> <laughs> What do you want? I want a man! Paw Patrol is on a roll! <laughs> when all hope seems lost... Let's get out of here! When heroes... Help! ...are needed more than ever... Our fate is in there. Pause. A dog? Actually, sir, I'm a puppy. That's even worse. You're in shock, so I'm not going to take that personally. This summer... Another perfect rescue. The worldwide phenomenon... Oh, 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 oh. ...will be unleashed on the big screen. Cause no Paw Patrol, what's your emergency? My name is Liberty. We need your help. Come, Dinger. He's going to destroy Adventure City. <laughs> Come on, pups. Adventure City's in trouble. Whoa. Welcome to our new headquarters. This is so cool. There's even a new and improved pup tree dispenser. What? It's a beautiful thing. No dog. By order of the new mayor. He's more of a cat person. Ladies and gentlemen, and most importantly, influencers with over 10,000 followers. I'm to light up the sky! We've got to rescue those people. Let's get to work. I mean... Paw Patrol is on a roll. Are you kidding me? I got this. Get out of the way! Move! You got to know how to talk to people. Now go! I Let's kick the tires. What we do? No city's too big. No pups too small. Deploy wedgie drone. Ah! Ah Woo! Yikes! 